do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos in this video we are going to see different types of sources and their classification namely independent and dependent sources moreover we will see different between them and different types of dependent sources depends upon the quantity on which it depends source is nothing but a basic element which gives energy in a electric circuit there are two types of sources that we can have one we can say independent source and other type is dependent sources as name suggest independent source is a constant source whose value do not depend upon any other voltage or current whereas in dependent sources the value of the source does depend upon some other voltage or current there are two types of sources in independent source one we can say a voltage source and second is current source so what voltage source will do it will provide a constant voltage irrespective of any amount of current taken from it so it means maintain constant voltage across two terminals whereas current source irrespective of amount of voltage across it it will always maintain constant current in the circuit as far as dependent sources are concerned there are four classifications so let's do it separately so it depends which voltage and current is being controlled by which voltage and current meaning we will have four combinations because we are having the two parameters current and voltage so let's list out the four combinations so first is voltage controlled voltage source so voltage controlled voltage source can also be called as vc vs so we are having a circuit in this circuit there are two ports meaning two terminals are given let's consider this is a port ab and this is a port cd so what we are saying there is a voltage across a and b as vab based on this voltage a voltage is developed over here okay and it is shown with a diamond shape like this so remember dependent sources are shown by this diamond like structure and let's consider here 
this is the voltage developed which is v c d so what you are saying this v c d is depends on this voltage so it's a voltage source this voltage source depend upon this voltage and there is a factor we call that factor as mu so basically what we have done we have represented a VCD as a voltage source which depends on another voltage VAB present in the same circuit. Okay? If you see carefully, we can get this mu as the ratio of two voltages. So it is a dimension less quantity and it called as voltage gate. So this is about voltage control, voltage source. Let's go ahead with the second classification. It is voltage controlled current source. Can we get as VC, CS. So it depends upon voltage only but I am getting a current source at the output side. So once again, we will consider the same two port, two terminal circuit. So this is A and B having a voltage VAB. This voltage will control the current at this side. And it is represented with a diamond shape just to interpret it is a dependent source and being a current source it will have an arrow head so this is a current which is nothing but i c d and i can say this i c d is depends on this voltage okay and i can call this as gm into v a b where gm is a constant if i solve for gm i will get gm as the ratio of current and voltage and current to voltage is a conductance since icd is a current of a output port and vab is the voltage of input port i can say this is transconductance So this is about a voltage control current source. Let's go ahead with the third classification. That is current control voltage source. Can be considered as CCVS. This time in the network we will have an input current which is flowing from a to b so we'll consider so the input current over here is i a b which will control the voltage at the output side in order to get a voltage source of this nature We can say this voltage is VCD. So VCD, which is a voltage, depends on this current IAB. So we we'll call this as R into IAB. Okay. So we will get this particular relationship. Now over here, if you see carefully. We can get the value of this constant which is R which is nothing but VCD upon IAB. So it's the ratio of voltage and current nothing but the resistance. But there is a voltage and current of a different poles. So we call this as trans resistance.
And finally, we come to the last classification that is current control, current source. Let me consider as CC, CS. The, the name suggests both the sides will have a current. So in the circuit, the input side, the current is IAB, which will control the output side current ICB. So we can say ICD is being controlled by IB by the factor beta. I can get beta as ratio of two currents ICD and IAB a dimension less quantity which we called as current D. So here we have seen in our dependent sources we will be having a four types depends upon which quantity is being controlled by which quantity. Let's go ahead with the significance of a dependent sources. In practice Dependent source does not exist. So let's list out some important points. Then while we are studying the dependent sources, the question may arise. Basically, dependent sources can be used to analyze the circuit. Many more. In a big circuit, sometimes it may happen that there is a constantly one particular voltage and current we are getting which depends on some other current and voltage present in the same circuit. So what we do, instead of drawing and analyzing the same circuit again and again, I can replace that entire part of a circuit by either a dependent current source or a dependent voltage source. Okay. So the best example is whenever we analyze the bipolar junction transistor as an amplifier there we need to draw its large signal or small signal analytical circuit using a dependent source so the best example is large signal a small signal amplifier analysis of VJT where the whole concept of a base current, collector current, base emitter voltage, collector emitter voltage, transconductance, and input impedance, everything can be represented with the help of dependent sources. So here we have seen a different types of independent and dependent sources, more importantly the classification of dependent sources and its significance in the electronic circuits. Thank you.